Okay, all you do-it-yourselfers, this is another video on your reef tank for do-it-yourself Euro bracing supports. Okay, this is the final product that's been done on one side and the procedure for the second side and the taping behind of it. Okay, love it, I love it. So uh, here we go, uh, my tank is a 48 inches wide by 18 inches deep and uh, 21 inches high. Originally this is a Perfecto tank uh, purchased from Big Al's. Uh, the tank here it did come with um, I think that's a 1.75 inch of border that supports the tank. Now in the tank itself there is a center support at the bottom as you can see right there and the glass is tempered at the bottom but not the sides and there was a center support right at the top however um, I wanted a new look to my tank I wanted that display room I wanted that display height and the black border is really getting on my nerves the tank uh, glass itself actually you know what ladies and gentlemen sorry for this little moving around but I'm going to measure the tank for you right now. Okay. So, the tank from the bottom up is, sorry, 20 inches exactly. Okay, that's right at the, the top of the glass line. Now, with the border in place, sitting at the bottom there, I was getting 17 inches of view space. So that's a two inch border that I had on the tank. Two inches, can you guys believe it? I was only having 17 inch view space. And now with the Euro bracing, what I have is 19 inches. Gee, should I take off my bottom or should I not? No, let's leave it for now. Okay. So here we go. Right here is a piece of glass that I have cut okay now the glass itself I'm gonna put this at the top some people have mentioned putting it inside but uh, you know what I, I kinda like the top method uh, I don't know why I just I, I prefer the top method but um, again I did a lot of research a lot of people put it at the, uh, the insides to have a more clean flush look but again, I wanted to leave that display room on top of the tank, so I'm getting now 19 inches or so of viewing space. Um, this glass was purchased from a local glass store. Um, they, they cut custom glasses. Uh, 40 bucks, <clears throat> 20 bucks each for these pieces. They are polished and they are grinded off to the side. Sorry, let me zoom in a little bit. Too close. Anyways, yeah, so they are grinded off to the side there. Okay, so exactly, I measure the outer diameters from the outside to the outside on the other side. It is exactly 48 inches. So I had a 40 inch, 48 inch piece cut, and, uh, and this is 3 inches wide. And the glass itself is uh, 3 eighths thick. Now I did a lot of research on this, and uh, according to my tank, which is 75 gallons, and the tank glass which is 3 8 thick my minimum euro bracing border I had to do was 2 inches now you can go 3 4 or 5 inches 5 is just ridiculously too big you can't put your hands inside of it um, it gets really hard but uh, 4 was uh, rated to be very safe on my tank 3 was extreme um, safe and 2 being minimal safe um, so yet again two was recommended but uh, for this calculation guys uh, this is not something I, I looked up uh, according to other people's videos um, there are actual calculators online there is a couple couple websites if you google them they'll show you the the thickness you need to go for your tank for your bracing so three inches wide is what I went with one inch above was was recommended for my tank so one side was all done Everything was silicone. Silicone, I used uh, GE Silicone 1. Uh, that is made for... Well, they used to be made for aquariums. Uh, again, they have some liability issues. 
where customers did not install the stuff properly and they wanted to take out their the legal issues with the company again so they took that label out from GE ones but I do recall doing some research some people have stated that uh, previously in the past they have listed for aquarium safe now there's no residues no chemicals within the silicone uh, obviously silicone is never 100% percent silicone by like, silicone is mixed with a couple different chemicals um, again, you have mold-free silicone, which you don't want to put. Some people have got away with it. Some people say it caused disasters in the tank. Now, I don't know if they're not leaving enough cure time for silicone because um, silicone, no matter how reef safe you go, you always want to give it that company's recommended 24-hour time. Plus, I would give it another 48 hours to be safe. To be extremely safe, I would say wait one week wash a tank about say two times and just give it that 100% uh, pure silicone with all of the the chemicals that been evaporated after the the soft liquid portion so now it's on rubber stage um, so you, you want to get everything uh, evaporated out of the silicone with the smell and everything so this is what it looks like on my tank with the other side on all right Still plenty of room to me, put my hand on the inside, clean the glasses, get all the rock work in there, not having a problem at all. So three inches on both sides. I did leave a small little gap, that's just about a quarter inch, just a little bit thicker than quarter inch gap. I'm going to go all around on the top. Uh, sorry, what am I pointing here? There we go. That black you see there is my aquarium glass. And then I'm leaving another, I guess that's a 3 inch gap, yeah, 3 eighths. So I'm leaving another 3 eighths silicone from the top. I'm going to go, that's not a problem. I am going to seal um, just right underneath it. So I'm going to run the beads on the tank top glass first. And then I'm going to place the glass gently right on top, not to squish it all the way, just firmly so it's wiggle it a little bit firmly so it sits inside. Whatever excess glue is on the outside, just take latex gloves and just kind of run your fingers through it. And you should have a very fine, flush, and professional cut. Alright, um, if there's any question, guys, please feel free to let me know. And uh, where you're bracing, always do your research. Companies have provided factory bracing for certain reasons. Certain tanks are just not meant to have uh, certain types of bracing on it. But uh, again, do your research. And uh, this stuff, it's it's you're liable on yourself. If the manufacturer does not, the manufacturer makes something is definitely for a reason there. But Eurobracing has been known to effectively uh, not cause any problems. I mean, it is a proven method for for all successful tanks I've seen below 150, 180 gallons. Uh, when you start going above that, you can have Euro bracing, but you may want to put one or two center supports just for extra precaution. Um, one other thing I wanted to get to you, uh, I did some research on a rimless tank. Now the rimless tank, I love that idea. You know what? You just have black beams coming across with silicone. Top is fully open. There's no borders, no nothing. That again, top and the bottom. I love that method. I quoted around for for my tank. They are asking almost three fifty four hundred dollars. That's something I cannot afford right now. But uh, definitely in the future, I am gonna get a rimless tank. I hate these borders, and this is gonna be my last tank with borders. Uh, again, borders are history. Now, one thing I did find out about rimless <coughs> manufacturer rating. Every company out there, besides a customization company where where they customize aquariums, um, when you have bracing like this it's usually supported because of a 3 8 thickness of a glass now in order for you now this is a research that's based on my tank and a 75 gallon tank if I were to get a rimless tank this glass would have to be half inch thick for it not to cause that bending now if you have a longer tank or a bigger tank you're probably gonna have to go at least quarter inch thick to one inch thick it really depends um, again call around a few places see what they recommend Right, see what they like. And uh, please leave your comments, questions below. And I hope you guys do like it. In the future videos, you will see when I start adding the water into the tank how the ore bracing looks. Bigger view.
better view overall. Heck, I just want to mess around with the tank, that's why I took the borders off. As you can see, it's a real nice gap now. Alright guys, have a good day for now.